Take number 6,444. And action. Hello, internet. Mickey from Team UNA. Fuck, what was I saying again? Hello, internet. Mickey here from Team UNA. This weekend, we're installing our callovers from our good friends at MCA Suspension. Next weekend is our track day, so we've got a lot of work to do. Let's get to it. Alright, these are our callovers. Sorry, don't need to break them. So when we caught up MCA, they're not your standard uh, suspension supplier. Like they actually tailor make the suspension just for you. So we told them what we need. We told them we got Elmo, it's a track car, we need a firm setup, something that's gonna be good for the track. We don't need it to be soft and comfortable for the road. So they suggested the um, XR series, which is a kind of mix in between the blue and the blues and the reds. And they also suggested we do 18 kilograms on the front and nine kilograms on the rear. To put that in, in perspective, the average street car usually runs between eight and nine on the front um, and much less on the rear. So this is gonna be a very firm setup, perfect for the track. These are our old teens. They've done us well, teen super straights, yeah? I'll put salad if anyone wants them. So these are gonna be coming out to replace with our lovely MCA callovers. One thing we do need to do is take off this. I don't know what it is, it's like some sort of a U. Let me a get a crack it underneath it. Do you want it to cool, Dave? No. No, neither do I. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe don't go into uh, the details. Also, take this thing off, it says V also, must be from a Commodore. Because this here actually slips onto our new callovers. So and we're taking yeah. that off, slipping out the old callovers, yep. new callovers in, slipping them into that. While Mickey's undoing the bottom. Oh. What did you just do? Just You dropped it out. No, we don't need it. <laughs> we don't need it. Oh yeah, so when we're driving and it like goes into the engine. Oh. <laughs> While Mickey's undoing the bottom, you are starting on the top. The top. There's only two nuts to take off and then once I take that off, Mickey should be able to just drop it straight out. Da, She's da, coming. Da, da, da. Oh, what a beautiful little baby. It's a boy. And what a boy. So these are actually brand new Teen Super Streets. We yep. uh, just bought them last week. Uh, they've never been tracked. Never been tracked. Never we been just tracked. put them in just to try them. Probably drove about Not what, even dirty. 20 kilometers. Max. I mean, Max. if you want to buy them, yeah. they're more expensive than they are from the store. And if you find cash, you get 10% off. <laughs> So I've actually just come across something with the uh, Teen Super Streets which we were previously running in the car. So as you know the springs uh, are set to 18 kgs at the front with the XRs from MCA. The teens we were running because they were like a street setup, they're actually 8 kilograms at the front. So going from 8 to 18 is going to be a massive difference. Uh, 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 oh. Oh. So front is done. Will's going back on. Apprentice Christian here is helping us. Go, Christian. Put your feet underneath it. Time for the backs. Eventually. Hold on, before you put the wheel on, eventually. It's a height. They do it. Here, sit down. Sit down. Put your feet one foot there, one foot the other side. Lift it up onto your knees. Pick yeah, it up right. underneath. There's one, you got to try for the others. Oh, it would have been much easier if you told me the first one. So there's one extra step you need to do in order to drop your recoil levers. So we have to undo the lower control arms and that'll drop the whole rear assembly and we'll be able to freely take out the coil lever. 
No install is ever a standard install. We always run into hiccups. The hiccup that we ran into today is that our lower control arms in here are not standard AJ Civic lower control arms. They're actually out of an AJ6. We didn't realize this because we took them straight off our donor car. The suspension that was provided for us is a fork type suspension um, and it doesn't actually line up with these lower control arms. So to combat that, we're gonna go out and buy some lightweight lower control arms for an AJ Civic. You feel me? Sure I am. Sorry. I don't know if you can hear me because of the wind. These are our new lower control arms. We picked them up today. They're not new, they're second hand, but they will do the job. They're the best thing we could get in a short amount of time. Um, they're hard race, they're billet, al billet aluminium. You, you, do, you, can, you, you won't. We'll put those in. We've already test fit them with uh, the MCAs. They actually fit, they slot over. All we have to do now is bolt them straight in. Completes another day at Team UNA. Suspension is in, lower control arms are in. It looks like a little bit of a monster truck now, it's a bit high, but we're gonna send it off to the shop to um, get a wheel alignment, suspension setup, dampening, everything done, and then it's off to the truck. Now I wanna say a huge thanks, thank you to the guys at MCA. They really helped us out with this. Hopefully with them on our side, we will reach that 110. They may have noticed that we're always wearing the same clothes, you know, the UNA stuff. It's not because we're grubs and we don't change and we don't shower. These are actually very comfy clothes. You know, they're good, they're black for when you're working on the car. If you don't have one yet, you should go online and get one. Link's right here. Right here. That's the link. Go get it.